Welcome back into the Sports Source, the segment of our program brought to you by Parkside Cabin Rentals. Football season is here, and if you're not heading to Neyland Stadium on Thursday, you and your family and pals should treat yourself to a cabin in the Smokies. Watch the Vols and other games, grill out, enjoy the mountain weather, the mountain air. Just pick the cabin of your choice at ParksideCabinRentals.com. You can do that all fall long, make it an event if you're not going to the game. Parkside Cabin Rentals, that's the group to call if you're heading to Sevier County. They have just a huge selection of different layouts and floor plans for you. Check them out, like I say, online, ParksideCabinRentals.com. Okay, Bob Hodge back with our VFLs out here. Former walk-on, Bob Hodge, so you kind of count yeah. as a, uh, I guess that'd be a W-O-V-F-L. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, all for a week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, the big change of Tennessee that everybody's talking about and everybody's looking forward to is Josh Heupel's tempo. Uh, we're all aware of the numbers his offensive teams have put up. They are staggering. We've gone through them since the day he was hired here. Uh, but they've also given up a staggering amount of points on defense. Uh, my question for you guys, and I'm going to start with Daniel because my guess is he'll be positive. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll wait for we'll wait for Willie Raincloud. Uh, in terms of this system, are you more excited for what it can do for the offense, or are you more worried about what it can do for the defense in terms of leaving them gasping for air, Daniel? Um, to answer the question, I'm more excited for the offense because um, that that's what kids want to say. That's what your recruits want to come play in an offense to get the best recruits. You need to do things that get them excited. You need to be on ESPN. You need to be on the top 10 plays. And if you go to seven on sevens, you go to high school camps now. I think I saw like even Alcoa ran a game where they had a, shot, a quarterback and shotgun, which blew my mind. But that's what the kids want. More excited for that. But I'm more worried about the injuries. Um, and, and when you look at that system, without actually going back and making a tally, I'm pretty sure we had more injuries this season that we ran an up-tempo offense than we did the year that we didn't. Oh, with the Butch Jones stuff, certainly. Yeah. Now, is that because he was going through strength coaches? You know, they also had some bad breaks. Mm, yeah. The strength coach yeah. can't keep you from breaking your leg. Uh, yeah. But certainly, the, I think that's let – me, let me spin off that because that was going to be my second part to this. I, I will say that – Sorry. No, no, <laughs> I, that's good. Uh, you didn't know. You were producing. It's good. Uh, you have lost 35 bodies. So when you're doing this system, that would lend you to think that you're going to need deeper rotations in certain places. Is that going to impact negatively the fact that you, don't, you might not have as deep a rotation as you would have, and yet you're still going 1,000 miles an hour? I, I think it's going to, because um, I remember that year. I mean, there was uh, two weeks, two or three weeks out of the season, and, and I'd say watch Will's face when I say this, but we had two to three weeks we did not practice in full pads during the middle of the season. Like we had to tape the pads off to keep from getting injured. And of course we go out in the game and just get slaughtered. Um, because you can't, it happens. You, can't, you, <laughs> you can't play football without pads. You gotta actually train the hit. You gotta yeah. train hitting someone with your face and it wasn't good. All right, uh, Bob, um, well, I'll let you, are you more excited about what the offense can do in this system or are you more worried about what it will do to the defense? I'm going to go with more excited about the offense just simply because it's been, what, three years, four years since we've actually seen offense around here. So yeah. I'm going to go more excited with the offense. What worries me most about the defense is when the offense isn't working. I mean, a 45-second three and out, the other team just took a 10-play drive and yeah. you're on the field for six minutes. 45 second three and out. And, uh, and that's 45 seconds real time. Exactly. Yeah, not 45 second game time. They can be 45 <laughs> I, I, second I real mean, time. I, I, I really worry about the defense, but I've got to go more excited about the offense just simply because what we've seen around here for the past whatever. Lord Wildemort. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm going to change it up a little bit. I, I am more excited about the offense because the game has changed. The game has changed the advantageous of the offense, the rules have all been lined up that you better be able to score 30 points. That game has evolved now that if you can't do that, mm -hmm. you have no shot of winning a lot of games. I think you have to have an offense like this just to be competitive. And so your defense has got to figure it out. It's not going to be good for your defense, but you're going to win in shootouts. You're not going to win in low scoring games. So you have to have an offense like this because the game, like I said, that our offense with all the rules the way they are now was not scoring more last year, yeah. just told you how bad it was. Because this game has changed over the last five years to 10 years. 
to where all the advantages on the offense, all the disadvantages on the defense, to keep them under 30 is now your new goal. That's a great defensive Re game. Remember there was a time when over 350 yards of offense to the opponent was considered a terrible defensive day. If Tennessee can hold opponents to under 450 <laughs> right. yards, yeah. hey, you might have something. Well, when you see Nick Saban say the things he said last year, this, the, the game has changed. You know, oh, wow, that is, that is Mr. Defense yeah. saying, yeah, it's not about defense anymore. I and, think, and just to throw a little sunshine on the defense, I think you can get excited about the defense being very opportunistic. Um, even under just Josh Heupel's career, he's averaged two to two and a half turnovers a game which is really good. You're going to get defensive linemen that get to pass rush a lot more. And so you should get to see some more sacks, more interceptions, and things like that. You're just going to have to suffer through giving up 30, 40 yard plays as well. <laughs> I'm, I'm more excited about the offense than I am worried about the defense. Not that I'm not worried about the defense, but I'm more excited for the offense. And this also goes back to my level, are you excited or blah for the start of the season? Kind of excited because I have to put my money where my mouth is. I've long thought that Tennessee in the position it's in cannot afford to keep going out and getting guys who, well, we're going to take four years and out-recruit Alabama and out-recruit Georgia. You're not good enough to do that. When they went out on this coaching search, we did a thing at the YP board, and I said, I want to see somebody that can scheme it up. you got to get somebody who can win with X's and O's before you get the Jimmys and Joes. I know you want the Jimmys and Joes, and if you scheme it up and you start winning, maybe you get those guys. But right now, I'm excited that they have somebody who on paper and whose history suggests X's and O's, that's his thing. So I'm excited about that because I think you have a better shot. Could be wrong, but I think you have a better shot long term of getting back to mediocrity. <laughs> And yeah. you're not there yet, I think you have a better shot getting back to yeah. mediocrity if you've got a guy like a Steve Spurrier who can say, I don't need the most talent. I can just figure out a way to generate points than if you sit there and have a Jeremy Pruitt who's talking about needing 25 new guys. I don't think that's the solution. So I'm excited about it. When we come back, as is typical this time of year, there's growing talk about Tennessee having more talent than anyone thinks. There's a lot of talent over there. Hidden <laughs> talent. How talented can you be when you've lost as many bodies as Tennessee is lost. We'll discuss that next. Come on back on the sports list.